So illegal immigration costs the U.S. taxpayers over $115 billion Yikes. per year. What price can you put on helping your fellow man and alleviating human suffering? I don't know the exact number. Hmm. Let's say the cap starts somewhere around the $100 billion mark. <laughs> Question of the day. Is it just me or does it seem that uh, since the left can't make the Russian collusion conspiracy stick, they've gone right back to calling everybody racist. That seems yeah. as though they fit. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me. Like uh, let me give you some uh, some context here. Remember the old clip of Trump talking about MS-13? He yeah. called the gang members of a gang yes. animals, and then the leftists took a snippet out of context. They claimed that he said all immigrants were animals. That clip just went viral again this week for people uh. who missed it. They're recycling the same old narrative lies, completely ignoring the crisis at the border, up to 100,000 illegal crossings this month. So That's insane. Uh. what reasons would justify building a wall. Let me rattle five off the top of my head. Uh, <laughs> reason one, okay? And you can share this with all your friends where people will say, well, give me one reason. Five here with multiple sources. We'll make it easy. Yes. Uh, crime. Yeah. Crime. Did I really say crime is reason one? I don't know. I got lost in my you own. You said MS-13, so uh, it's kind of like so that. So the, the left, they often claim that illegal immigrants, you hear this all the time. How often have you heard this claim, guys, that the undocumented immigrants, they actually commit crimes at a lower rate right. than native-born citizens? Yeah. Well, let them say it. But in our sanctuary cities, our people are not Ugh. disobeying the law. Uh, these are law-abiding citizens. Everyday immigrants commit crimes at a far lower rate than native-born Americans. Wow. Seems like she went in and said, give me the 60s-era Diane Keaton in Burgundy, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the kind of request that only the insane lament. Notice the language here. When we bring up the problem of illegal immigrants, they pivot to immigrants as a whole. Yep. That's like Every lumping time. legal gun owners in with illegal gun owners. Of course, legal immigrants are going to be less likely to break the law because by definition, they're law abiding. Their very first action, when they were presented with the option to immigrate illegally, they decided to do it legally. Illegal immigrants show they're three times. This is when you separate for illegal immigrants three times as likely to commit crimes wow. as other citizens. They make up 27% of all federal prisons, despite being only 9% of the nation's adult population. Jesus. So it's, I know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's surprising. That's not, that's not to mention, by the way, that every single crime committed by an illegal alien, it's, it's one that could never have been committed yeah. had they not been here illegally in the Correct. first place. So yes, it's important to remember not all immigrants are criminals, but all illegal aliens, at least in getting here, kind of pulled a dick move. All of them. <laughs> Every <laughs> single one of them. I'm okay saying that. Okay, reason number two. Uh, how effective a wall would be. The left tells us it doesn't work. But would a wall really stop them? What the Border Patrol says, and I've spoken to a lot of their people, is look, first of all, if you build a 30-foot wall, all it's going to do is create a market for 31-foot ladders. <laughs> of course! Oh, good of Lord. course that's right! <laughs> of course! <laughs> so this is where they it do the whole, be. you know, walls don't work argument, yeah. and then they go on to argue for Border Patrol. Here's an idea. How about both? <laughs> No, 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 none of us are saying, well, I, I get know. it, listen, no, by when I talk about the wall, I am talking about border security as a whole. The wall is really more of just a symbol. It's a pretty kick-ass symbol, though. It's yeah, one that I yeah, like, absolutely. especially because it ruffles all the right feathers. Looks Here's the cool. thing, though, walls do work. Yeah. Israel, for example, cut its illegal immigration rate by 99% Wow. constructing 140 miles. That, that seems fence. significant, actually. Yes. Yeah. Now, granted, some terrorist tunnels, still a problem. Right. When Mexico has the destruction of all United States citizens in its charter, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> but 99%, it's what we call statistically significant. So, and I know I've heard these people arguing all the time that it's not 100% effective. It's only, okay, neither. Another. Condoms. Condoms yeah. don't work 100%, but you have yeah, us right. handing those exactly. out by the punch bowl at the local junior high and the taxpayer dying. Well, well look, if anything, at least stop. You're cutting off the black people. They were about to say something. <laughs> That's yeah, privilege. Black privilege, please. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, what's 100% effective? Um, you Viagra? got murder laws up. What? Viagra's 100% effective. <laughs> <laughs> Only for white people. Turns what? me into a savage animal. <laughs> like, murder is illegal, but it still happens. Murder laws not necessarily 100% effective, especially in your community. <laughs> By the way, hit the notification <laughs> bell. That's a low blow right Join now. Up at <laughs> 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 I figured you could take it with the Viagra armor going on. Uh, mug Club, uh, lottocutter.com slash mug club. Subscribe on iTunes if you haven't subscribed already. Apparently, subscriptions don't mean anything. Yeah, and people yeah, aren't getting notifications. Let us know. Reason number three, cost. Uh, Democrats have also been claiming that the wall would be too expensive. The president cannot hold public employees hostage because he wants to have a wall that is not effective, uh, not effective in terms of its purpose, not cost effective in terms of uh, what the uh, opportunity cost uh, uh, it is uh, uh, of uh, a federal dollars uh, to spend. Uh,
Did you just get beat up in Harry Reid's shower? <laughs> Does TheraBand have another lawsuit coming? All right, listen. If we want to run the numbers, is, let's use a comparison. Israel spent $2.9 million, I think. Yeah, $2.9 million a mile on their yeah. fence. Okay? So if we were to build a similar border wall fence from scratch, again, not necessarily a wall, mm. run us around $5.6 billion, but let's use the most liberal estimates. Total costs as high as $21 billion. It sounds like a lot. Yeah. Until you factor in studies that show illegal immigration costs the U.S. taxpayers over $115 billion Yikes. per year. Huh. And I can already hear I can already hear the rebuttals here. I can hear the arguments. What price can you put on helping your fellow man and alleviating human suffering? I don't know the exact number. Hmm. Let's say the cap starts somewhere around the $100 billion mark. <laughs> <laughs> We've thrown nothing but manpower and money at the border, and it has gotten worse. It is the exact opposite thing of what we should be doing. So anybody who comes out and says a wall won't work is doing it purely for political gain, as if you didn't know that already. But they're also putting lives in danger. Go ask the people that live on border towns. My sister's yep. husband's family lives on a border town in Zapata. It's Your not sister's best friend's Zapata. girlfriend's brother's no, boyfriend my sister's knows this guy who knows someone who saw family. Beto O'Rourke <laughs> pass out of 31 Flavors last yeah. night, and then he was raped by MS-13. <laughs> Reason number four, he likes it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> compassion. <laughs> This is what happens all, all the time from the left. This is not unique here, but they appeal to our sense of compassion by talking about kids being held in cages. Yeah. Will someone please think of the children? Kennels, cages, dog kennels for human beings. This is where they put them in. It's like 50, 60 degrees, so you're freezing. So how do you show oh, that you've been what? tortured? Right. <laughs> the other word is perrera. In Spanish, perrera is a dog cage. Our children, effectively, as the senator Wait said, are it. being put into dog cages. Right now, what we are seeing is the violation of human rights. These children and these families are being held in what are, what are called yeleras, which are basically freezing boxes that no person <laughs> oh. should be maintained in for any amount of time, let alone the amount of time that they are being kept on. I love how the first commentator says, you know, the temperature is really low, so these boxes get cold. And then Cortez just says, they're putting them in freezing boxes? <laughs> that are 50 to 60. Degrees. They're holding them <laughs> oh, in so Coleman cold, coolers. <laughs> that sounds like good air conditioning. <laughs> Upgrade to Yeti, yes, at least. Because when you're talking about American Border Patrol agents who uh, spare no expense when holding illegal immigrants, <laughs> they're going to crank the air conditioning up <laughs> yes, exactly. in, in El Paso. And by the way, these dog cages, that, that these kennels, that are, they're fenced in areas, yeah. is what they're talking well, okay, about. Never, like never, dog cages and never the mind corner. the fact that cajun kids started under Obama. I know some people have tried to issue rebuttals to that. Well, well that's a whole topic for another yeah. day. But it did start under Obama. We're just talking about the frequency. The problem right now is nearly 100,000 illegal immigrants cross the border every single month. That's over 3,000 a day. Where do you put them? Yeah. You have to put them somewhere, and it's not going to be the Holiday Inn Express. So <laughs> it's likely going to be a detention center with, like you said, fenced areas, a yeah. cage, or a freezing box, as Pinta Nina Santa Maria Cortez calls it. <laughs> but if we, here, if we actually secured the border... That would be compassionate. We could avoid yeah. families being stranded yeah. in these facilities in the first place. It would be the most compassionate thing to do. So if we build the wall and everyone enters the country in a single file orderly fashion, oh, that sounds, if you don't, you'll have a lot of brown people sleeping under overpasses and plastic, plastic Nassau blankets, okay? <laughs> like, that's the thing. They're not, try, they're not saying, well, no. we're going to, do you think even the most racist county sheriff wants to put a bunch of Mexican migrants under an overpass? Nobody does. Even that. if the most, hey, listen, chief, I'm going to put these brown folk uh, under the overpass. You go, no, no, I'm racist, but I don't want that PR disaster. Yeah. I don't want Don Lemon down here and put me on a split screen. <laughs> I, you know what? I forgot what my point number five was. Four is enough. Four is enough. We'll call this number we'll five because it. that's a nice round number. Yeah. So here's what's happened. We've pivoted, of course, from Russia to racism. And by the way, wait for this in the coming months uh, as it relates to the election. We saw this. Remember when everyone who didn't vote for Obama was a racist? Then with Hillary yeah, Clinton, everyone all of a sudden became a sex. So expect to see this with the Democrat presidential candidates. If the nominee ends up being Warren Gillibrand, the Democrats will start accusing you with charges of sexism. If it's Kamala Harris, then they'll accuse you of racism and sexism and homophobia. Oh, They're going to try to paint millions of Americans and law-abiding immigrants, by the way, as racist and extremists. That's what they want to do right now. All of these reasons listed to the left, to people like Nancy Pelosi, to people like Cortez, they think that all of this is an extremist point of view. And to you, I would ask, what's a more extremist view than a nation without borders or laws. Hey there, here I am uh, drinking from my mug in a button down. How often do you see this? Never. So do me a favor and yourself, click one of these videos playing one of these boxes here or uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell also because subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot. If you really want to support the show, join my club. If you don't, then there's no helping you.